Um, all right. Thank you. Um, sweet. So I'm going to jump in here to the bank statement program. It's one of our favorite loan programs right now and perfect for not just real estate agents, but anybody who is self-employed or runs their own business or runs their own um, side hustle. They can be a W-2 plus they can have their bank statement. So what it is, is 12 months of business bank statements or personal bank statements. Um, um, before I go too much further, if you guys look up here over my shoulder, um, let's see here, there's, there's Walter, Walter Neal, the owner of the company. He's, um, he's always here just We can't hear you, buddy. We can't hear you. Something happened to your microphone. All right. There you go. We're good. All right. Good deal. Um, yeah, of course, my Bluetooth uh, want to die right now. So that's perfect. Um, all right. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's see this. Boom. All right. Is this a little bit better, guys? Can you hear me now? Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Cool, cool. Um, I love how the world loves to mess with me. All right, let's go. Bank statement program. So you can do 10% down self-employed on a primary residence and there's no mortgage insurance. The mortgage insurance is built into the uh, total loan payment and the interest rate. We can go down to a 740 FICO score. Um, you have to have two year seasoning for foreclosures, any short sale or bankruptcy or a deed in lieu of foreclosure situation. Um, there are options to go with a 24 month bank statement, but really the 12 month bank statement average is probably going to be the most beneficial anyway, because the interest rates for the program are about the same. And we do these loan amounts up to $3 million. Uh, it's a minimum $150,000 loan amount and minimum two years self-employed is required, required. And so we're not getting any tax returns from you in order to qualify. Now, normally what I'll do is I'll get everything we need for a full documentation package, try to get you the best interest rates with the best program. After we review that, if for some reason we can't fit you into what you're looking for, then we'll go down the list, try to do these bank statement programs, asset qualifiers, depending on your situation, um, and look at different opportunities. And we'll get some of, to some of the other opportunities here with the investor cash flow and no income, which is a perfect investor investor um, investment property loan, so we'll get there. Um, so these options are for uh, purchase and cash out or rate and term. So just about any transaction type, we are able to accommodate. So bank statements for purchase or refinance. Um, we have a 1099 option available. So this one's gonna be popular for our real estate agents. Um, what that means is we get 1099s we verify with bank statements with the deposits and we get a copy of your broker year to date, um, year to date commission statement from your broker. And then we match everything up and qualify you with the income based on all of those things and those averages. And then what we do is we do a, uh, let's say we're in uh, August right now, we would do a July to July profit and loss statement for the calendar year that way, or that fiscal bank statement uh, time allotment, I guess, if you will. And then we would uh, just average everything out that way. And then we looked at your year to date uh, as well uh, for your deposit. So we wanna make sure everything's on track. What's really cool about this program is that it is the portfolio program and it does allow for non-warrantable non condos. So if um, the condo project is not a conforming Fannie and Freddie project, let's say uh, I had a situation where we were scrubbing 
to make sure that we had more than 50% primary residences and second homes. Um, so we need to be under that 50% mark for the um, under that 50% mark for the occupancy in order to go on a con, um, a warrantable condo. And if you don't meet that 50% occupancy, it's considered to be a non-warrantable condo. Another thing that can make it non-warrantable is um, HOA reserves, pending litigation. Um, honestly, a number of different things uh, can, can knock it out of uh, conventional financing. And then we would need to go into uh, non-warrantable condo status. Um, and so <clears throat> when you have a property like that and then you have to qualify this way, what ends up happening is different layers and different combinations of loan programs and property types, we need to make sure they all jive together, right? So for example, it's difficult to get a bank statement program on leased land. It's difficult, you can't really combine those two. You can do a full documentation underwrite with leased land, but it's really hard to find leased land with the bank statement program. I've been working on that with some of our agents. The next loan program is our portfolio select program. And that again has a minimum 10% down with no mortgage insurance. This one will do a FICO score all the way down to a 620. So we get 20 more points on that. This portfolio of select is a one year seasoning for foreclosures or short sales and two year seasoning for bankruptcies. We'll do up to a loan amount of 2.5 million. Please send me all your big deals. Let's do some big deals. Um, and I, you know, we do government and conforming loans really well. I want you to know we, we're really, we're really doing well in the jumbo space again. I know last year was a little interesting in the market and some of the liquidity and the jumbo space kind of pulled back. But I also want you guys to consider the opportunity for your sellers who, or your buyers that are paying all cash, um, that there might be an opportunity there that we could get them this deferred cash out and their money back after we close uh, on the purchase. So I know, I know like cash is king. It's about 60 to 70% of the market out here in the Coachella Valley, but um, let's, you know, take advantage of these low rates and not be put in a pressure cooker for time. Um, and we can get your clients their money back after closing as well. Um, so again, all, all finance types, purchases, cash out, rate and term, refinance. We do do, do we do do uh, owner occupied second homes and investment properties. So for each of those occupancy types, it's gonna require a different down payment amount. Uh, we will go up to 50% uh, debt to income ratio. And again, we have that non warrantable condo option, which is awesome. This program on primary residences does allow for gift funds, and there is a 40-year fixed rate interest-only option available as well. As well, um, so what it is is a, uh, yeah, I mean, that interest-only pro program uh, for that is just phenomenal. Um, the next one, any pro any questions about that so far? Well, so one, one of the differences. On, one yeah. question: uh, uh, How about uh, for our clients that are. Uh, building their own homes, self-employed. Do you have any construction loans as well? We're working on that. Um, I can, you know, I can talk to you about that offline on another, on another thing. There, there are a couple of options right now for construction money. Um, Harold, I know we've talked about it a couple of times in a couple of different property types. It depends on what you're looking for. Um, I do private money construction really easy. And, um, conventional a paper construction is coming back a little bit. Um, if I don't have it in house or if I'm not specifically focusing on that, um, which I'm not necessarily focusing on construction stuff right now, uh, other than the private money side, uh, I will always point you in the right direction and let you know uh, what's going on with that. But we'll talk about that offline um, because there, there is an option there um, as well. So, um, Awesome. Any questions about that so far? We go up to 3 million loan amounts. What's really cool about this, guys, I just want to reiterate that we have this in-house. So this is like, um, except for the income component of it, which they're going to calculate, for example, on the bank statements, these programs are going to the underwriter. We can get it done up front and then get it bounced back. It's about a two-day turnaround. 
It's real. They're really easy to work with. And then we're able to draw docs and close it in house. So we're processing it, double checking the income real quick, and then we're able to go to uh, docs and funding. So it's really awesome that we have the ability to control as much as we can in house, especially in this market. The next option uh, for the new loan programs is this asset qualifier program, which I really like. It's not it's not a ninja loan, which is a no income, um, no job verification, uh, no assets, um, and no debt to income ratio. But this one is where you actually it's an asset depletion program. So this is the program you all typically think about when I'm talking about IRA distributions. So there's qualified assets and there's non-qualified assets. The asset qualifiers for non-qualified retirement assets. This is for your, your stocks, your bonds, uh, your Bitcoin, your, your um, everything that's not an IRA or a 401k account. Um, this, this is for primary residences only. The kicker on this one is a 700 FICO score. We will go up to $3 million, uh, maximum 75% loan to value. So 700 FICO score, 25% down. Uh, Five-year seasoning on the foreclosure, and there are certain requirements for the assets. So funds to close and six months reserves on all properties, borrowers must have at least $500,000 in post-closing assets. So what we do is, in order to calculate the income, we'll, we'll add up the total amount of the assets. Typically, we'll divide it by 240, which is 20 months or 20 years, and we'll use that amount as um, income. Now, normally, if you're doing a retirement program, we would calculate the income for uh, the IRA distributions a little bit differently. So when you're asking or talking about it, let's get real clear on it there. Uh, qualified retirement assets or non-qualified. Uh, basically, if there's a tax penalty or no tax penalty. All right, this is one of my favorites. I've been saving a lot of deals this way. Um, so investor cash flow program, there's no income on this. If you're an investor and you already own a primary residence, we can use this program with 20% down and we can go as low as a 640 FICO score. There's no personal income that we collect. We don't collect any tax return. We're not collecting any pay stubs or W-2s, nothing. The only thing we're doing is getting a rental survey on the property. And it doesn't even matter where the rental income comes in. If it's greater than a 1.25% uh, ratio for debt service coverage, for example, if the property will bring in $2,500 and our total debt on the property is $2,000. It really doesn't matter where that rental amount comes in or what the carrying costs are. We're going to be in good shape. We have a program for each side of that, depending on where that ratio actually comes in. You can see there, we must have housing history and own your own primary residence. No employment's required. Um, yeah, and that, that service thing is what I was just talking about. Um, and then we have, yeah, the 25% down is the minimum, and then a 700 FICO score. They'll go up to a $1.5 million loan amount. So, 1.5 million, 25% down, 640 FICO score. Who wants to make a deal? The jumbo end of the market's looking really good right now. Um, purchases, cash out, rate and term, so any option there. And look, at this one guys i always tell you you can't do it this investor actually will allow you to purchase the property in an llc's name mike i know you love that one harold that's a unique one right not normally we'll only do that on portfolio lenders or for commercial type uh situations so that's huge that's really unique uh normally they want to personally guarantee the note and they don't want it to be well you are personally guaranteeing it but you're investing it directly to your llc and bypassing that extra quick claim step so that's pretty sweet hey sean uh, lastly yeah we've got a question on what you're talking about um what's the interest rate on that and then does that work for a condo hotel like in las vegas 
Uh, there are different property type options. The condo tell situation, I would need to double check, but yes, the condo tell would be a non-warrantable condo um, situation. So normally condo tells are not Fannie and Freddie compliant. Basically that's what they're saying there. And through this program, we could finance, I'm guessing a condo tell type, type program. If you wanna get with me or give me a call, um, the information's down there at, at the bottom. Uh, or you can reach out to me at 760-835-5663 or at sonloans at gmail.com. Um, interest rates, there was a question on rates. Um, I just closed one, rates were about four and a quarter and he put about 35% down. Um, I think with this, that was my a different investor though. With this new investor, I think they're closer to three and a half. Uh, to 3.75, and those are 30-year fixed programs too. So rates are awesome. I'm not really selling rates. I'm selling um, service and ease and making things happen. Uh, bridge loans are also very popular right now. We have a true bridge program available where <clears throat> we do a loan on the departing residents in order to get them into the new residents that they're purchasing, but we will only do it if they're using us for the first mortgage on the new purchase. So we have that available as well. Um, before I get into the last one, I also want to let everybody know, if you don't know this, I speak Spanish fluently. Se habla español. Vivía en Puerto Rico y Paraguay para unos meses y años. He pasado mucho tiempo en la vida, pura vida en Costa Rica. Y la vida boricua en Puerto Rico. Um, so I speak a little Spanish um, and I'm also currently licensed in seven different states, uh, including Washington, Oregon, California, Nevada, Arizona, Colorado, and New Mexico. By the end of the year, I'm gonna be adding about seven or eight more states. So we'll have you very well covered uh, for the about 25 to 30% of the United States. Um, and a lot of states where we're doing business, including Texas and Florida and Georgia and um, all kinds of good options. We're really trying to do our best to give you as many options and as many tools and resources in your back pocket. I think that's the highlights on me. Let's get back to the program. This is the Platinum Jumbo program. So anything over a 548 loan amount, uh, 548,250 is our county loan max in Riverside County. Um, they do vary by county. This one's cool. This is a 10% down, no mortgage insurance program. And that starts with the credit scores going down to 660 or higher. All right, uh, we can do the loan amounts up to 3 million again. Minimum loan amount is, uh, well, they're calling it a jumbo, but they'll do a 250 loan amount. So that's pretty interesting. And you can do any occupancy type. So, um, with the investment occupancy type or non-owner, uh, you're obviously going to need to put down more than that 10%. Um, and then this is a full documentation loan only. So we're going to need two years worth of full tax return, everything documented, three months bank statements for the COVID, uh, cash flow rules uh, for all, all companies and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, debt to income ratios, they, they allow us to push it pretty high on this one. Jumbo loan program debt to income ratios are typically anywhere from 38% to 43%. So if Wells Fargo, Chase, Bank of America, if any of those guys are turning you down for your loans, give me a call. We might have some other programs because we can push those ratios higher than 42, 43%, in some cases up to 50%. Um, and FHA, we can go up to 56.9%, which is surprising. And I've seen VA as high as up to 62%. So don't give up, ask more questions. If you uh, haven't used me before, give me a shot, give me a shout. And uh, I look forward to speaking with you guys. Do you guys currently have any questions? Eric, I think you're still there. Is, uh, is there anything I missed? How'd I do? How'd I do, Mike? I think you did great. I'll take one of each of those, please. I wasn't muted, right? <laughs> no, I think that we should put Eric on the spot and have him come on and introduce himself. 
I, I was hoping we'd do that. I was going to give him a heads up earlier, but I was like, nah, we'll see. Derek, the, the broker is requesting your presence to uh, make a formal introduction. Are you in the car, bro? Elizabeth, uh, based on what you're seeing out there, oh, he's trying to get the mic to work. Trying to get his mic um, to work. Um, Elizabeth, are you seeing anything out there that you think uh, from the situations you've heard of recently that there's any potential use for these products? I love that investor cash flow, no income. I think that's a great one for investors. I'm excited about that particular product. Yeah, super easy. I had a gentleman who was kind of between his businesses. Uh, within the last four months, he had bought his dad's uh, dealership out, and uh, we didn't even have to deal with any of that. So we were able to really streamline it. Yes. Cool. One well, thing Eric's uh, going to be prepared next time. And, so uh, I did want to mention um, I'll be putting a, a a picture inside of our Facebook Agents Connection in about five, 10 minutes after we're done. And uh, it's for the July market update from Equitable Escrow. And the average sales price is 564 here in Coachella Valley right now. So it, it really necessitates the platinum jumbo. If, if, if most yeah. medium price properties are above the Riverside 548. So uh, uh, this yeah. is something that we're really looking uh, forward to, you know, this jumbo. Yeah, client. that's awesome. That's a very good point. And if, if you think about it, guys, 575 sale price, 95% financing, that gets you to the 548, 250 loan amount. So if you're looking to price homes that will get you the most buyers and the most options, you know, pricing them between 575 and 600. I mean, I know everything's flying off the shelf no matter what, but um, that gets you like the 5% down options if you're trying to get the uh, some buyers off off the fence, that might be a, a good option for you to look at some of those programs because we can really push that amount up with keeping the down payment down. Well, I did take up about half an hour. Holy smokes, I did it again. <laughs> no, that uh, was perfect. You always have so much knowledge. Um, and so much expertise with this. So I, I love hearing you speak and hearing you present. You are a rock star. Um, if there's no other questions, comments, concerns, et cetera, then we'll go ahead and wrap up. Oh, Carolina, Carolina, Carolina I'm so sorry if I butchered that. Um, what's the percentage rate for, for um, So the, yeah, for which program? I mean, most of the rates for these programs, no matter what the occupancy is, they're between three and 5%. So it depends on down payment amount and occupancy and which program we're actually doing. Plus FICO score makes a huge difference with the ads. So we really need to kind of custom tailor the loan programs and everything to your situation and what you're trying to do. Uh, there's no real one size fits all because these are so niche. Again, think about those layers like property type, program, underwriting. You know, I do all of that so you guys don't have to worry about it. One application with me is like applying with like 45 to 60 different banks. And we do all the shopping for you guys. Um, so um, I love it. <clears throat> Mike, Friday morning, 9 a.m., CDAR's new building. Bring a mask. Don't bring a mask. I don't know what we're doing anymore. But I can't wait to see you guys. I, I love yes. that we're normally I love that we're normally dark in August, um, but this is the first time we're gonna be back. So thanks. That's awesome. Yep, so love it. Be sure to send You're me hired. pictures if you guys set up. So I'm I wanna see pictures. I'm so excited to see you guys finally get back. We've been back here in Arizona for a hot minute, so it's exciting to see everyone else kind of follow suit. Um awesome. perfect. We're getting there. Yeah, right. <laughs> All righty. Well, we're going to go ahead and wrap up. Um, thank you, everyone, for joining us. Big thank you to Sean and Harold and Mike for all joining us here today. Um, you guys are awesome. Sean, I can't thank you enough for this information. This was just this was great. So I hope everybody took something away from it, just like I did. Um, all right, everyone have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you next Monday for another Ask the Experts. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.